Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic. Welcome to my channel. Today I have for you a review of the buffet called the Golden Corral here in Arlington, Texas. Now I'm going to do things differently and I'm going to give you my final thoughts up front. Okay, because they're having an employee shortage and, and everything like that. And believe it or not, the cashier lady was also cooking the steaks. Wait, true, true story. Uh, I can't make this up. I said to her, excuse me, you look a lot like the cashier lady. And she's like flipping the steaks. And, I'm just, and she's like, oh, yeah, I get that a lot. Turns out it was her. Anyway, people got a sense of humor. Anyway, so this buffet is good. It is extremely inexpensive. And then I went there, right? Uh, I walked through, did a walkthrough. The walkthrough didn't look so good. I don't have to admit it, okay? It didn't look so good. You're going to see it. You're going to be like, this does not look so good. But interestingly enough, surprise, surprise, the food was delicious. Okay, I got the steaks. They taste great. The, the fried chicken was like really crispy and flavorful and, and moist. The, the potatoes were done well, like in the silver aluminum foil wrapper. The chili that they had there uh, spiced like very nicely and everything. Uh, I was like, I was really surprised. I was thinking it's going to be something like uh, like the circus buffet in Las Vegas where it's going to be like, oh, what the hell am I eating, you know? But the food here was good. So it's definitely do come by. Surprise, surprise. You know, my, I, I, during, in the buffet line, you will see like th there's been a little bit of a neglect, right? You're going to see that there's the, the signage is not there or it's not correct. And um, some of the dishes has been out a while, like some of the rice dishes, like around the edge of the container, it's getting, you know, a little crispy. You know what I mean? Which it shouldn't be. But at the time I got there, there was only like one table of customers. So I think they were hitting a slow period. Now, I'm not making excuses for them, okay? The, it is what it is. Employee shortage or whatever, customer shortage, and... You know what what can you do right so but at the end the food was good okay now the buffet video hello guys it's Danny the medic here in the middle of nowhere in Arlington Texas I'm walking along the highway over here we try to get to this particular buffet I saw called the uh, Golden Corral It uh, should be any minute now. I'm just walking down this, along the highway here. This buffet better be good. Okay, guys. It looks like I found it. The Golden Corral. Let's see what they got. Well, upon entering, they have some amusement stuff. Right above the uh, amusement is the uh, pricing, which is actually pretty good. Pretty good, guys. According to the sign, this uh, Golden Corral uh, buffet has been in business since 1973. How is it the first? How is it that this is the the first time I've ever been to one? That's weird. Uh, there's no tea today, but I guess that's okay. As you know, I am a medic, so I notice things. Look at this sign. It says children under 10 must be accompanied by an adult. Yet, children ages 9 to 12 is severely discounted. So let's see if we can get a little discount going on over here. Okay, this is me trying to hustle a discount. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm actually a 12-year-old boy here by myself. I, I, I wish I could believe that. Ah. Well, <laughs> if you get to know me, you'll be like, why is he acting like a 12-year-old? <laughs> okay, guys. It came out to $16.50, including a drink, which is in this plastic cup. And this is what the buffet looks like. Well, this section is closed, but yeah. Looks relatively clean. 
very nice and uh, we're gonna go to the food line wow guys it's actually quite a sizable buffet very sizable indeed look at that it goes all the way around so let's start over here with this over here let me see um, I'm not sure what this is it looks like it's crackers with uh, an empty container okay moving on we have hmm some fruits we have lettuce and uh, vegetables for you to create your salad now we have some crackers hmm more vegetables for more salad wow people are sure healthy here in Texas okay and salad dressings so interesting and toppings I think we got tuna and chopped bacon interesting yeah here we have some pasta and croutons hmm it's uh, hard to know because there's actually a very limited signage but yeah it, it is what it looks like I guess and over here we got some sort of a uh, crab salad with some sauces like I think it's tartar and cocktail sauce and now let's come over here ah I guess we're supposed to use gloves I, I will do that so this must be the soup station I, I think I see chili what's left of chicken noodle cream of broccoli and New England clam I'm, I'm just guessing here guys we got some utensils ah some sort of it looks like egg puffs we have some rice now the edges of the rice is uh, kind of dried out so be careful don't bust your teeth I think these are hush puppies and french fries here we have uh, looks like fish and yellow rice baked fish with uh, lemons and herbs white rice and over here we got corn muffins I think this is um, beans I remember seeing these type of beans with the eyes on it I can't remember uh, potatoes the mac and cheese is looking delicious some meatloaf a mixed vegetable type of thing and corn on the cob it's like a, a type of potato and meat dish again there's no signage guys Forg uh, forgive me for not knowing now we have peppers chicken biscuit mashed potato and gravy oh it looks like country gravy which will lead me to believe this is country fried steak next to it here we have fried chicken guys looks looking good potatoes and spinach maybe some more of that pasta salad hmm some sort of fried vegetable could it be chopped up Brussels sprouts I'm not sure all right so we have some beans and things broccoli and could this be kale ah baked yams baked potatoes butter and cream cheese ketchup in packets here we got some meats for you over here 
real mayonnaise by Heinz Heinz and this is um, corn and pork ribs maybe uh, I am not sure I'm not sure guys chicken uh, bread and here we have more bread uh, more baked potatoes and butter and beans and uh, yams and oh this gotta be cornbread it's looking pretty good here we have maybe french toast beans uh, meat that's been cooked very long maybe pork shoulder sauce and onions and pickles and more chicken very good all right we have some pizza pasta pasta with vegetables we got some more chicken rice which again the edges are actually really dry guys be careful be careful uh, looks like Asian food not sure what this is this appears to be refried beans something for inside of your tacos hmm chicken rice and uh, this stuff here which may be some wow okay and uh, see that is tables and cheating uh, some things over there oh frozen yogurt Uh, you pull the cone for your frozen yogurt oh some stuff for your cones to make a Sunday oh make a Sunday I'm gonna have a Sunday guys oh yummy it's like uh, at the 7-eleven here we have some desserts yep I'm gonna eat everything guys maybe not the, the not too much sugar today ah, marshmallows and pies and cakes oh I'm loving that jello I'm gonna go in reverse guys I'm gonna eat dessert first and then work my way towards the food okay and that's it that's it for the buffet I'm gonna grab a glove let's get cracking if you ask anyone who knows me they will say I am a man of my word and here I am starting with dessert first. The pie was excellent. It was actually really fresh and tasty. And the other stuff is kind of machine made, so you know it can't go wrong. Now we got the grill your own steak to order station. Now these are little sirloin steaks, about four ounces, and they were really tasty. I got some corn on the cob, also really tasty. And the mushrooms are packed full of flavor and the baked potato over here inside is just like done perfectly it was really good then i dropped by the soup station and got this bowl of chili this chili packed full of flavor the steak was so good i got seconds and i saw this fried chicken and said why not i put it on the plate and surprise guess what it was so good moist inside extremely crispy outside the skin of the breading was well flavored. It was like so good. I couldn't believe it. So here you see the, uh, the cup that they give you. It's really strange because they'll give you the cup, but then the waitress will come and take the cup from you and then fill it and bring you back the cup. Uh, now I'm not used to that, but hey, as long as it works. And today's server was, I, I believe her name is Angelina. A shout out to Angelina because she was actually extremely friendly and did a great job and and just made everything pleasant. Everybody here was friendly. They should just call this place uh, Friendlies. 
I'm kidding. No, no, no. You can't do that. But yeah, the cashier lady, the other cashier lady, the cashier lady that was also cooking the steaks, the server lady who takes away your plates, everybody was friendly. The food was delicious. Yes, this is a place to、uh, come if you're in the neighborhood. Totally. And it was just so inexpensive. Totally nuts. Thank you for watching my video. And if you enjoyed this、uh, video, please press like and, and、uh, subscribe. Thank you and have a wonderful night.